Aren't we all curious about what makes one stand head and shoulders above others in terms of academic excellence? Well, today we're going to find out just that. We have a very special guest today in our studio. He is the topper at Janki Devi Public School, Mumbai, in the ICIC Class 10 Board Examination for the academic year 2021-2022. And not only that, he has also secured third merit position in All India level. Wow! <laughs> Let's give a big wee kids welcome to Soham Agarwal. You're listening to this interview on JPS Wee Kids Radio. This is also available on Spotify podcast, Instagram and on our YouTube channel Wee Kids Media. Hashtag Wee Kids Can Do It. Hey Soham! Hello! Congratulations on your recent success. Thank you so very much. So Soham, how does it feel being back to the studio? So I was a student of mass media and communication just like all of you. I've really enjoyed my time with Vkids as a radio jockey interviewing guests. It's my first time on the other side being interviewed. Uh, so it's an immense honor and I'm really looking forward to it. So the first question comes from Disha. You have been consistently good at studies but now you're the school board topper and the merit rank holder as well. How do you feel? So hi Disha. Um, it feels really great that the efforts I've put in have been rewarded and I thank the Almighty for the same. But I do realize that it's not the end of the journey, it's just the beginning. It's a nice beautiful stop on the road where I sit back and I enjoy the celebrations and accolades coming in. But tomorrow morning I got to pack my bags and move ahead in this beautiful journey. Hi Soham, I'm Pari from class 9th. How did you uh, plan your timetable and most importantly, did you give up internet, social media and TV completely during the year? Hi Pari, so regarding my timetable, I kept things really simple. I attended school regularly with full concentration at school. I followed the instructions of my teachers to the T. I, my aim was to finish everything that was done in school on the very same day so that things did not pile up and there was absolutely no stress. It also gave me enough time to pursue my hobbies, all the limited time. Uh, talking about television, I did not give up television and I uh, did continue to watch sports on TV. Uh, I'm glad you raised the point on social media. Uh, personally, I have never been on social media and I do feel that for a student, social media is a colossal waste of time and maybe a distraction. So if you have a goal in life, you need to give up all such distractions like social media and there is always a time for it later in life, not now. Hi Soham, I'm Janvi. Starting in class 10th enough, I mean, can we chill a bit in class 9th as class 10th can be taxing on us? Hi Janvi, so uh, to answer your question, I would like to say that if you study well in class 8th and class 9th, clear all your concept, then class 10th is indeed a cakewalk. It is not at all taxing. But you cannot hope to do well in class 10th by just not doing anything in class 9th. All the concepts are indeed carried forward. Also, I have always followed the mantra, don't study for marks, study for knowledge. Chase excellence and don't chase success. If you enjoy what you do, if you enjoy our studies, then it, studying is chilling. So uh, all I would like to say is, not only the destination but also the journey is important so enjoy each and every moment of it and if you enjoy your studies then you can chill in 9th as well as in 10th hi soham i'm rishika well what was your most favorite subject and least favorite subject as well okay and what motivated you to study your least favorite subject so hi rishika uh, it is indeed a very difficult question for me because i love studying i as i said i enjoy my studies uh I seek knowledge and every subject gives me knowledge in some form or the other. My day feels complete if I learn something new. So for the second part of the question, there's no least favorite subject for me. Uh, if I, I, I cannot choose the most favorite, but if you still insist, it will be mathematics. The immense joy you receive by solving complex problems, followed by physics, where um, every natural, everything that occurs in nature can be ex explained on the basis of principles of physics. Every trivial thing like how we walk, how we run. And finally, geography, where which talks about various natural phenomena like occurrence of day and night and so on. And also, I love traveling. So it's maths, physics and geography for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ridhan. I heard that you want to pursue medicine. What drew you to medicine? Which field will you like to specialize in? 
Hi Ridan. Uh, so I would like to say that both my parents are doctors, and I draw inspiration from them. My father is an eye surgeon, and I've watched him giving eyesight to elderly patients with cataracts who have not seen their grandchildren for years. My mother is a COVID warrior who has worked selflessly and fearlessly during the pandemic only for the betterment of society. So I did not have to look far beyond my home for uh, inspiration. My parents are my role models. I aspire to be like them. I want to express the joy and satisfaction of having the power to heal. Uh, regarding the specialization, I do feel that I will come to know my likes better after while after working in all fields and during my undergraduate course in MBBS. So I will then be in a best position to decide my spe specialization. Thank you. Hi Soham, I'm Shaima. I wanted to ask you. What role did your parents play in your success? Can you share it with us? Hi, Shaima. So my parents have played an immense role. There's no doubt about it. All parents try to do the best they can for their children. But two things in particular my parents told me to chase excellence and not to chase success. And that success always follows efforts and hard work, even in the dictionary. So there was always no stress of scoring marks. And further, they told me to enjoy whatever I was doing and to put my heart and soul in everything. Hi, Soham. I'm Deer. Can you tell us how your teachers and school contributed to your success? So, hi, Deer. Um, my teachers and the school have indeed played a tremendous role. All teachers try their best to teach their students. Uh, further, during the pandemic, the teachers took to the new mode of teaching and learning, uh, just like fish to water. They put in extra efforts to make PowerPoint presentations, Google Forms, and online exams, only to ensure that our learning did not stop. Uh, further, our, our was, ours was the only batch which had two board exams. The notice came all of a sudden, and the bigger shock was that there were multiple choice questions in the first board exam. No one had any knowledge of what kind of questions would be asked. So our teachers drafted loads of MCQs and made us prepared so that we would be able to face the uh, exams and ace and perform uh, and ace them and perform well i would just like to conclude that my teachers ha have been my mentors in the truest sense of the word hi soham i'm inshara i would be over the moon if i scored the marks that you did i mean do you have any regrets of not scoring more than 99.4% so hi inshara it's a really interesting question and to answer it, I would like to uh, narrate a true incident that took place after I just received my results. So when I received my results, uh, there were people who told me, Soham, if you got one mark more, you would be second in India. If you got two marks more, you would be first in India. The only answer I gave was, if I, got, if I had got one mark less, I would not make the merit list. So I am indeed a satisfied soul. I thank the Almighty for all that He has given me. And as I said, I don't chase marks. I am happy with my efforts for I did put in my best. Like when we were choosing our group 3 subjects, why did you take like why did you choose mass media as your group 3 subject? So, uh, I chose mass media and communication because uh, firstly, I knew it, it it was some it was a new subject to our school. I really wanted to experience it. Further, we had uh, mass media and communication classes right since second grade, so you know the show recording recording of various shows and etc etc i i loved i loved them even in those days further uh, re talking about the future communication is essential in whatever field you choose and i'm i'm glad that mass media indeed helped me sharpen my communication skills so it has indeed been a great experience we have though online but uh, we, thanks to sir, shantanu sir he is made it a really practical experience for us. I mean, he got experts to teach us uh, ham radio and uh, integrated marketing communication, exploring so many components of the world of media. It was, it was, I enjoyed my time and I would, it, it, it is, it was the best group three. I mean, for me, it is the best group three subject of all those. Of so, uh, you know, it, it was 10 minutes to go for my results to come. Uh, my heart was thumping to be very honest. Uh, I mean, I, I was, I know my parents were happy with my hard work. I was happy with my hard work, but you know, it's just always the anxiety before re receiving our 10 boards, uh, board results. Uh, so it was my parents and me in, a, in my room, uh, just waiting anxiously. And when the time came, I opened up, I got the results. I felt on top of the world. 
uh, I prayed to the Almighty, thanked Him. I thanked I thanked my parents for all their efforts. I seek blessings from my grandparents, my parents, all my relatives, and uh, I also, you know, spoke to my teachers, s- spoke to all my teachers, seek their blessings, thank them for all that they had done for me, and. Uh, just uh, after after the main part was over we also cut a cake just to celebrate Woo. thank you so much did you sleep that night or you were like overwhelmed and you could not sleep i mean uh, i had to go to college <laughs> next day so i had to sleep and i i slept i i mean it was just a result right and how was uh, how just a result yes <laughs> I said it's not the end of the road. I have to pack my bags and move on tomorrow. Dude, just a result. How school reacted on that? Like so much of hard work. Uh, so, uh, I, I, as I said, I spoke to my teachers. They were all really happy. They congratulated me. Further, uh, principal ma'am called my father the next day to tell him that uh, they were all really happy and that i was the first merit ranker from the school so i felt immensely happy then on the felicitation ceremony i seeked the blessings of all my teachers i thanked them for all that they had done and uh, my teachers congratulated me on this success uh, like you have spent all your uh, years in the school only if i am not wrong yes yes so what is the best memory of yours in the entire journey of school so the fondest memory i have was uh, when in fifth standard on our annual sports day uh, i was the captain of the red house and uh, we won the best house so i was given the re- best house trophy to lift that was the that was one thing then in seventh i also won the best pupil award so it was another great moment for me further there have been so many extra curricular activities i was blessed to uh, have been given the opportunity to portray lord krishna and uh, then shivaji on a an annual day i really enjoyed my time here um, the i mean making all my friends meeting all my friends every day talking helping each other it, it, it's all they are all everlasting memories which i will cherish forever what's up i'm gorang i noticed that you said that uh, you like traveling according to you what's the best place you have visited uh so uh, i've been to many places both uh, in india and abroad but if you ask me the best it it's got to be barcelona in spain uh i there was a church i visited called la sagrada familia the architecture is just out of the world it's not yet finished they are still trying to match the architect's uh, skills which they have not been able to further uh, i i had the opportunity to witness a match in the football match in the stadium of my favorite player lionel messi fc barcelona where he scored a goal and uh, they were presented the trophy the celebrations the dancing we were all dancing on the streets uh, it was all it was it was the best trip that i've ever had till date uh, so uh, you know i i i'm a die hard fa- fa- fan of cricket So uh, when I was in primary I used to talk about becoming a cricketer. <laughs> uh I even did uh, cricket coaching in one of the school summer camps here when I was uh, in primary. So I I really loved the sport. I used to think that uh, I I could take it up as a profession but now I do feel that is I can I should just follow it as a passion but my profession is should be medicine. We have loved having you here with us today Soham and I wish we had more time. So do you have any messages for the forthcoming batches listening to you? So uh, all I would like to say is uh, as I have already said chase excellence do not chase success. Work hard towards your goal there is there is no substitute to hard work. Enjoy the process, enjoy our studies. So Soham are there any secrets to cracking exams that you've not shared with us yet? So I mean I have shared most of the things but uh, I would just like to say that the secret is 2 Cs, 3 Ds and 3 Hs. The Cs being complete concentration at school which brings tremendous confidence during exams. The 3 Ds are discipline in all your work, dedication and determination to succeed and uh, the 3 Hs hard work, honesty towards your work and above all humility. So just enjoy the process and work hard and all the results will follow so as i said just enjoy your studies do it for the fun of do it for the love of studying and for the fun of it do i i always say do what you love and love what you do so uh, you know just work hard 
सक्सेस इज अ बाई प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एफर्ट्स एंड हार्ड वर्क यू विल सक्सीड नो डाउट इफ यू वर्क हार्ड सो ऑलवेज सो जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट वैल यूर स्टडिंग इन ऑल्सो हैव योर लीजर टाइम विच विल यू नो रिलैक्स योर माइंड अ लिटिल बिट एंड जस्ट फॉलो दीज स्टेप्स एंड यूल श्योरली सक्सीड सो एज आई सेड इफ यू जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेट एट स्कूल हाफ द वर्क ऑफ सेल्फ स्टडी इज डन सो दैट्स अ वे टू सेव टाइम एट होम सेकेंडली ऑल असाइनमेंट्स i mean there is there is you we have to find time to uh, do a complete our assignments on time probably by you know cutting down or completely uh, reducing the time spent on social media to zero which i followed throughout my 9th uh, and 10th especially uh, which uh, and you know if if just social media time is cut down then it, it i'm sure that there'll be ample of time for self study for homework assignments and also for leisure i mean playing or listening to music or so and so forth activities so i would like to thank all of you for having me here it's really been a new experience probably the first time giving an interview and thank you so much for making it a special one thank you so long friends please like share subscribe to wickets media for more interesting and entertaining content for kids bye kids bye kids <laughs>